what is up? My allergies is kicking my ass, so I'm so sorry I sound like ass, but I gotta give the people what they want. <clears throat> so, my next video to go over my collection first is gonna be all the Transformers that I got. And so as I was taking them out, I started realizing like, man, like, how did Transformers the one, or maybe, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe, hope I'm not sick. But, like this Optimus Prime, like this looks like it came from the movie. I'm like, yo, and this was the buzzworthy Bumblebee. So, I don't know, maybe because they put so much money in the campaign for Rise of the Beast and Transformers 1, they was like, eh, they don't, they don't trust in it. But, this is what a studio series, I forgot like how cool this is. But another one, like I like this line, I love this line, like man. But another one, I damn near forgot about Reactivate. Is that still a thing? Is that game still coming out? I do like this Optimus. Like, that's a pretty damn... But there's no connection with these characters because I don't, I don't know shit about the game because the game has not come out. But this is a pretty badass Optimus. So, how is this video game version Optimus look better than the studio series Optimus from The One? You know what fuck this cannon this damn gun he don't want to hold it then don't fucking hold it <laughs> but um yeah so sometimes what i suggest people do just go through like i mean if you look right here i'm like lining them all up i still got like that big ass tote to go through and then not to mention all the ones that are on the shelf so that is all the transformers that i have uh not really the titans i have put i have like a lot of titans put away well not a lot like unicron Omega Supreme and Nemesis. So I have three. Three, four, five, six. I got six Titans. But man, when I was taking this out, I forgot about my Rise of the Beast custom Bumblebee that I did like custom work on him because he did not look this good. Like, as far as like the gray and stuff you see, I did that. I painted his blade right here gray. That was all yellow. That Autobot symbol. I put that on him from a little sticker that came with KO stuff. His grill was not, I did all that with like a marker, like basically a Gundam pen and a marker is how I painted all this. And the marker was like a chrome marker. No, not a Gundam pen, a paint pen and a chrome marker. And I basically like, like this was all yellow. I, only thing on here that wasn't, no, I did his grill too, holy shit. So I did his grill and then I took the black paint and did that but it was fun like looking at this but while we getting multiple fucking bludgeons and shit i keep forgetting this is like a hybrid i took the legs from the main line in which all the scuffs and stuff i did that with the same marker you just take the edge and you just run it along the edge so from the waist down this is the the good, like these legs were better than the Studio Series legs. So I took the legs off of the uh, main line, put it on here in the upper torso. The upper body is the Studio Series, in which I really love her head that much. But this deserves a better figure. And don't get me fucking started. But we probably not because we just now getting Bumblebee figures. Bumblebee movie figures. But this is the only RC we got. Work. I keep forgetting about that. It was like, fuck that movie. Okay. <laughs> hey. So, that's what I was going to say. The reason why, like, I picked her up on sale. She was like four bucks. It was like a year ago. But, even though these are like shitty figures to me, I honestly, where is he at? Mirage? I don't hate Mirage. It's just he's got too much going on for how cool he looked on a movie. But, <laughs> I picked him up because I didn't want to miss out. And so I will pre-order tomorrow. So hopefully they're still there. The Studio Series Bumblebee. Everybody by Optimus because we have a Takara Tomy and I pre-ordered that on a Big Mac toy store. So, And then if another Studio Series that's, that, you know, that's better than it comes out, then I'll get that too. So somebody also mentioned Yolo Park. I, um, I think I might jump in on that. Right now, I do have the DLX pre-ordered, but I have seen reviews of Yolo Park. Yolo Park, and 
Those were pretty damn tight. Um, as far as Transformers, I've been like, dude, like, I think his name is Sinner Twin or something like that. But like, I like his colors, and I, I, I realized I'm like, oh shit, like I like, like. The headmasters, I really fucking like. And he's a headmaster, like, and they just come out random as fuck. For those who don't know, you might know. It's a headmaster. Never even really knew that. I didn't know they was releasing them like in different type of ways until I realized I have a lot of headmasters. <laughs> there was one that I sold, and now I wish I didn't. What was his name? He was like a blue. He was a blue sports car. He came out in the um. I think the like 30th anniversary or whatever, Thrilling 30s. What was his name? It wasn't Blue Streak. It was something he had like flames on the side of his car. But anyway, <laughs> now that I know what I know, I can't believe I sold it because like they just dropped Target Masters and Headmasters. Because like to me, Headmasters is the perfect amalgamation of throwback ones with modern updates. Like this just screams 90s Transformer. I fucking love it. Who is this uh, brainstorm? I think. So I got all the ones that came out. My favorite of them all, though, was is Chrome Dome. As far as like his look, I just like Chrome Dome. But sorry, I'm sniffing. Like it is my allergies out here in Central California. This dust just blowing and like, oh, I'm so fucked up. So I'm about to go to bed. But I want to try to push out a video each day. You know, it helps the algorithm and shit like that. I don't know, but. I'm really having fun. Let me, uh, where the fuck would I put him? So, also, I forgot I had Nova Prime. I'm like, shit. Why did I pack him up? Like, this is a tight, this is, this looks badass. I fucking love it. Like, shit. Like, that's another thing I love rediscovering shit that I already got. <laughs> uh, they're re-releasing this for some reason. I mean, he was everywhere, but I've yet to do, like, that scene, but I like that they got like the original like first three Autobots that you see. So that's pretty cool. So me going through, I'm liking it. What other figure did I take out of storage that I, hell yeah, double dealer. Like I had, I didn't know like until I watched like, I watched like um, Michael Mercer, History of, if you like History of G.I. Joe Transformers and shit like that, toy wise. I love it. It's uh, Mike, Matthew or Michael Mercer. I think it's Michael Mercer. I think Matthew Mercer is a voice actor who does characters like the dude on Overwatch and Chris Red. I mean, um, Leon Kennedy. But anyway, I'm yeah, double do like. I remember when I got this. I loved it. Like, I still got the little plastic. I'll peel it out off afterwards. I don't fuck nothing up, but shit. So if you have stuff put away, my advice is go revisit it. Or if your shit is just on a shelf and everybody's just standing shoulder to shoulder like this, take them down and rearrange them just to rediscover a figure you fucking forgot you probably had. You or you wouldn't forget. You ain't gonna be like, hey, where the fuck this come from? But he's gonna be like, hey, I remember I bought this. And you, the same joy might come over you. I remember I was watching a Nerd Zoic video years ago when he said that. And I agree. One more. Let's just pull out one more. Pause. There's got to be one more. You know what? Let's pull one out of this tote. Random as fuck. Oh, it's going to be a random bag. So my uh, War for Cybertron with twin cast in there. But see, there's the Optimus. So why did I put these up? Shit, I need to go ahead and pull these out. I might pull these out while I've been doing like a review of every Transformer that I got just because some people want to see my collection. So I figured I would do it in pieces. But um, yeah, so I will pull them back out to put up once, what's his name? Like, look, there's Nacelle. I don't even know why I bought this. I just bought it because it was a different looking jet. But shit, I like the color scheme. It makes me think of those popsicles in the summertime, but Fuck it. Anyway, that's I, I at least wanted to tell y'all that, but I feel like shit right now. So I'm about to take some allergy medicine, go to sleep. But if you have like a collection, go revisit it. Don't let it just sit back there and collect dust. I had to revisit this shelf because if you remember, if you don't know, uh, about two months ago, this shit all came crumbling, tumbling down. So I had to put it back up and I got to relive. 
By the way, those who did watch that, I found Junkyards. You wanna know where the fuck with this? So I found Junkyards Cranial. It was all the way over here in my Ninja Turtles. Bit. Like I was redoing the Ninja Turtles. I'm like, holy shit, here it is. So I recovered every piece. Uh, one last thing I'm gonna say. When Kingdom, and like when the War for Cybertron first came out, y'all had it made. Like this is another like perfect like Dude, like, I think this is like a art fire, but still. So it's not like um, Inferno, but I like how it has the old school look, but I like the plastic. Like, I wouldn't want this painted on there. Like, I don't know, something about that just gives it a little bit more oomph, even though it's all just plastic. But damn, when shit like this dropped, like that was, I bought this on Amazon for like 20 bucks years ago just because it was on sale. And I was like, fuck it, but. Shit, man. You Transformers are collecting who've been collecting for years and years, like over five years, who've been collecting since before Power of the Proms. I mean, lick my lips for some smart ass say, say it don't spread. You know who you are. Um, shit, y'all was living the best life. Y'all was living the best time. Like, shit, y'all got a lot of good shit, especially with G1 re releasing. So, anyway, hope y'all have a good night. I'm gonna get y'all some more content. Thank you for everybody who was liking like the little comedy parody that I was doing. Um, I'm too sick to do one tonight, but I still went to make a video. So hope you have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, relive your collection. Instead of being so stressed about buying the new shit, because generally, myself included, guilty of this. Ooh, a new toy. Open it up, look at it, put it on the shelf. Where's next? Let's, let's enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So, I used to do that. I don't even do that anymore. One of the last figures I remember doing that for was this Bumblebee. I remember when I found him because, like, I wasn't able to, like, get my hands on the Netflix one. But, like, I transformed this, like, ten times, like, and I can play with it. Which brings me to the next thing. People, you want to know why Transformers cost more than they did when we were kids? Because the complexity of it. Like, some people be like, remember when we would use our mind and our brain... Motherfucker, cause to transform the old Transformers, you just did one, two, three, and done. Like Optimus Prime was literally one of the easiest fucking Transformers to transform. Um, I remember just because I tried, like this was an easy transform, like no instructions needed. You just, I feel like I looked at one small part, but somebody like Jazz, you can transform without it. But there are complex, there are complex Transformers that it would take you a little bit longer, I feel like. But yeah, no, a kid is not going, especially a kid is not gonna, I would not know how to transform art fire. Like this might take, well, I would eventually figure it out, but sometimes you have to do friction shit to where like you have to make it, nah. So that's another reason why I believe they're not always that much. Cause I feel like this is only like 25 to 30 bucks retail. That's a fair price. So, oh yes, I'm glad I brought that up. Dragon Man, holy shit. <laughs> I made a video thinking Dragon Man was Motu. Motherfucker was like, this dude done lost his damn mind. <laughs> I knew exactly, I was there when they revealed him at Comic Con. So Dragon Man, that's such a corny ass name. I think he's worth $80, dude was like, it's like 85, 90 after shit. I'm like, bro, <laughs> that shows you, you just can't please the masses. You can't, man, you just can't. <laughs> We collectively, because I'm in there, uh, I'm used to military, one team, one fight. We bitch about Haslabs. So the Marvel team literally said it could be bullshit. All I can do is take your word because there was no Marvel Haslab this year. They was like, you know what? We hear the people fucking, we're going to take it back burner. We're just going to make it. We, people have even said we would want it to be a post-con exclusive, if anything, and make it since it's big and stuff. <laughs> My question is, like, how much those who don't think Dragon Man is like I think they think he's overpriced what should you pay for him like he's $85 80 to $85 I believe take a step down that Hulkbuster armor was 60 I didn't hear nobody say that was overpriced that's the Hulkbuster is $60 Dragon Man which is like looks naturally beefier and you saw I thought it was a Motu character everybody knows especially after that Marvel movie the Hulkbuster armor <laughs> So yeah, they can put that in Target and everywhere, but that's sixty. Twenty five dollars more. I reserve. I reserve judgment just because like Giant Man was two hundred. This is that. I don't fucking know. I'm just saying. 
I don't think it's so far fetched. It's not out of the ass and just like, well, he's got a top middle, middle and bottom. It's like 80, okay, he's big as fuck. Can't imagine that wingspan, but 80 it is, you know what I mean? And another thing, and I'm only using this because of like uh, YouTubers I follow who are personal trainers. Shout out to Chris Jones. He was transparent. He was like, as much as he wants to, he cannot personally train everybody in the world. So if you're that, like, he basically said I had to charge more for, cause like if I can't do 500, if I, if I can only do like, let's say 200, like 200 people, if I can only coach 200 people at like whatever the price, name it, but 500 people need my coaching, but my limit as far as being able to be an effective coach is 200, I just left money on the table. So since I'm that good, and I'm not saying Marvel Legends is that good, but that Dragon Man looks good. Like, if you're a Dragon Man fan of Fantastic Four, what looks bad about the shit? But they got to charge a little bit more because they're not going to put out as many. They're not going to... I highly doubt the number of units created is going to match that of something like the Sabretooth or the fucking... Or just any Mega Fig. And so... Or, you know, Mega Fig. They... 40 to 60 dollars. Mega Figs used to be like 40 but Iron Man is 60 but I get it it looks like a nice big chunky but when I saw somebody do a comparison he was it was as big as a Red Hulk Diamond Select but here's the thing Diamond Select I've always known I only have one with a possible I might get Thanos but I definitely bought the Watcher because I like the way that one looks better than the Build-A-Figure Watcher but um that they had next to a Red Hulk Marvel Select so my thing is like if Marvel Select, which they are pretty affordable, like look at the look at the detail in Marvel Select. So why don't y'all buy that? Just saying, like if, if you if those out there who think Marvel Legends look like ass today and they they just don't have the same quality they used to back in 2005, which I've seen a lot of old school Marvel Legends. I am not trying to hate. A lot of them look like straight ass compared to like dude. Just watching a YouTuber who takes like the new Ghost Rider and compares it to because they got every single one. I'm like, oh shit. I bet you we thought they looked good back in the day. There are some exceptions, but I'm not talking anecdotal, like for the most part. And another reason, I know a lot of people answered this. Some people complain, why are they releasing the same person? For like another Wolverine? Listen, same thing with Batman. You want to know why there's so many goddamn Wolverine? Pick up a fucking comic book and then you'll know. There's so many goddamn iterations. His journey is one of the most major, like, even in one run, like, he'll go from hell to here. Just different fucking looks. Same thing with Batman. It's not just because he mentioned, like, the turtles do the same thing. It's not the same. The turtles, they'll have a turtle and be like, what if they were all birthday clowns? What if they were all samurai? No. These are actual iterations from fucking comics that exist. So you basically saying... Fuck all you new people who read the new shit. I want my old school Batman and just that. You also saying, dude, I've been collecting for three years now. I've never seen another Magneto release in his traditional garments until X-Men 97. So don't say, I already got Magneto. I already got, okay. Good for you. I didn't. I'm fucking glad. But it's not like while they're releasing this, they're not releasing other shit. The Goblin Queen. I don't know if there was a Goblin Queen or not. I don't think she looked that pink or like that suffocated. Maybe she's meant to look like that. Have you ever even read... Y'all know who I'm talking... Have you ever even read the fucking book? She might look 100... I don't see anything wrong with Madeline Pryor. I watched X-Men 97. I didn't see her and be like, oh, this figure is discolored. She looked fine to me. So you got Madeline Pryor. I don't know if they ever made her figure or not. Have they? Somebody comment. She might not be as revealing, but it's still... It's something. I'm sorry. Like, if you wanted, you should have backed the fucking uh, Ghost Rider card. But you didn't, so you ain't getting her. But we got one of her. It was from the cartoon. And as we know, I'm happy with the cartoon. So, hey. <coughs> but, yeah, they're going to they're gonna always release. But I also see a lot of different little figures. I'm like, who is this? There's a lot of new comic book collectors, new readers every single day. My Spider-Man is not the new generation Spider-Man. He's been done to death in so many different ways. 
my Wolverine is not the new Wolverine. Dude, when I was in line, it is so great. We got to get from in front of our own self and just not think the fucking world revolves around our generation and our age group born in the uh, early 80s because there's so many new things. This kid, this guy was talking to me. He was probably like 18 to 21. But his Wolverine is not, uh, is it Carl Dodd? I don't know the actor's name, but the Wolverine from animated series, that's not his Wolverine. And I respect that. Who who the fuck are we to say, no, that's not, what? This, this is an ever growing, that's why even though I said the new Turtles is 100% not for me, I've, I've learned to say it's not mine. It's not my cup of tea. It's not for me. I actually didn't mind Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because I've got enough of my generation of turtles. I've gotten enough. I've gotten enough of my generation or a little bit better. And it stopped for me after 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But I got enough after 40 fucking years. Goddamn. <laughs> Peter Cullen is, he's up there in age. He's up there. Honestly, the guy who does Optimus Primal's voice, I now see him as Optimus Prime as well because I love Beast Wars so much. So let's take a second to get out of our own way and not just judge everything from our narrow point of view because I've seen a lot of Marvel. Like, and then once again, if someone, anyone who's even gonna come in here who will say Marvel Legends look like ass, give me an example. So if you, if you end up saying one that you know look good, I can like... Be like uh bullshit it more than likely is like and it more than likely is like the movie figures like from the marvel cinematic universe i'm making this video too long but i saw people comment on somebody else's channel i'm gonna put it somewhere on this i hope i remember to but i screenshot i was like damn these are not even my fans i don't even know these people this ain't even my channel and they're saying like they're like yo you tripping I even said it. I even zoomed in on Hammerhead. I don't give a... No, Tombstone. I don't care about Tombstone. But I was like, look at him and Hammerhead. The details are there. It just might not be what you want. Like, if they come out with another Magneto that has that costume, I don't fucking need it. I really do not. Like, I really won't need it. That Spider-Man they came out with, that was surplus to requirements. But luckily, he had a Peter Parker head and he had like the... Um, the little like Spider-Man cloth that he can hold because I got enough. I have enough, but I didn't have Vulture. So I'm glad they're revisiting and periodically revisiting. I don't have to wait 30 years between launches because when shit stops selling, like, dude, prime example, before X-Men 97 came out, dude, those things were everywhere. Like they were everywhere. And before somebody say, like some YouTubers say, not at my store, not at mine, not around me. Uh, they were online. They were goddamn it definitely online. Like, Wave 1 was online for days. That shit came out months before X-Men 97. I mean, months. The only thing that dropped that was kind of like a Hungry Hungry Hippo Get It Now was Cable. If I remember, yeah, Cable was the only, every other figure from Cyclops to Wolverine. Meanwhile, you got this three-pack of the Lover's Triangle and motherfuckers want an arm and a leg. And I'm like, and generally, like with a used car or something, you would think, Hey, they re-released this. Maybe the old shit will go. Nah, these motherfuckers sticking to their guns. Well, get you can die with that shit. I don't give a fuck. I thought about the Kickstarter spawn since I pre-ordered the uh, what's the name? I'm not paying $130 for no damn Kickstarter spawn when honestly, it's one of the weaker looking spawns. Yes, the original Kickstarter is the original looking spawn. Hey, that's all great. Are you ready for this? I don't give a fuck. I have two spawns that to me, the Mortal Kombat spawn looks better than that. Fuck hamburger face. Oh, don't get hamburger face. That is an iconic face, but really looking at that Kickstarter, I'm like, dude, I can tell people who bought a lot to flip them. Like, shame on you. I mean, that's what the fuck you get. Stop buying shit to sell it. Like, if you wanted to sell it for a reason, reasonable price, and the way I know it's because it's a lot of those uh, artist proof ones. I'm like, dude, y'all can choke on that shit. Hold on to that shit until you die. So I'm going to tell y'all now, don't buy shit thinking it's going to appreciate in value and that you can turn around and sell it. You have to be willing to let that shit go for damn near a steal. Not to where you're just giving it away. Fuck that. But it has to be reasonable. Like, I really have never, nope, I've never sold anything. You can go look me up on my Facebook marketplace. It's all Just Incredible Toys or Justin McCown on my Facebook market or my Macari. I've never sold shit for a stupid price over what it was. I'll sell a lot and that way I can just 
for no matter who it was, even if it's Venom. Some people didn't bite. And the thing about that is I might change my mind and miss my figures. And then something might come out like uh, the uh, Iron Fist and um, Luke Cage 2-pack. And then I, I close that down. I, I take back because I was going to sell my Daredevil comic version. I was going to sell my um, TV show version of The Punisher. Nobody was biting, and then when that two pack came, I was like, "Fuck it, I'll have a six one six version." No, nah, don't come, don't come now. And there was, there was like ten to fifteen dollars each. Mega figs are like larger figures. I would just do fifteen, like Venom. I did fifteen, like the most I've ever sold any Marvel Legend, which was good Marvel Legends, like uh, sought after Spider Man shit was twenty dollars at least asking price. I have all the accessories. I'm just an out of box collector and I'll put that shit on the shelf and there it will sit. It's not handled. I periodic I don't dust it all the time, but it's not in the sunlight. Still wanna try to, you know, rip you off. Nah man, come on. I believe this hobby should have shit circulating. We should circulate the hobby. That's why I'm surprised when I go back and I see old shit like old ass Magneto, old ass we getting a quick silver. He's not in blue, but how long until they paint him in blue? And then at that point, fuck that family three pack. You motherfuckers can choke on that. Die with it. Don't try to bring the price down now. If you holding on to something, the reason why I'm not going to sell this is because I like to have, when it comes to Transformers, I like to have like at least an alt mode. So I justify buying the Studio Series 86, but keeping Optimus Prime. Now, I'm not going to need like, I don't have this. And then also the Earthrise version and nah, fuck all that. Like, I have a version that has a trailer, and boom. Now I have a vehicle representation of Optimus Prime. But if I were to sell him, I would sell him less than retail. Depending on how well he's going for it. Now, if this was selling for like 2 I'm not going to cap. If this was selling for like $200 easily, like easy, like just post it and they sell it, I would just undercut the market. I would sell it for like $125. do not believe me? I really did sell like this... Um, this uh, 112th um, Punisher. I sold it for $100. It was going for two, but I sold it for 100 and it sold like that. Dude was like worried, like, hey, are you going to ship that? I'm not lazy, but dude, like, to drop all the way, but I got it in the mail beforehand. He left me a good review. From I like to keep, like, certain, like, bubble wraps and stuff. Also, I get it from supply from where I work. Ship that shit perfectly in package. Fucking beautiful. So, if you collect and you're not a scalper or a reseller or a flipper, let's keep it rotating. Let's keep the collection circulating. That's what keeps this line alive. People who come on, they probably don't want to buy every figure brand fucking new. Like, let me get a hand-me-down. I sold my Dr. Octopus with the animated version. I had the Tupac, uh, Tupac, who we are. I had the Tupac with Silk and Dr. Uh, Octopus, but I sold him and kept Silk because there was a better, some people would argue that was a better one. That's the beauty of this. Not to me. The anime series is my Dr. Octopus. As far as I'm concerned, I don't need any other Dr. Octopus. I have that one and I have a movie one. That's it. Unless they made the spectacular Spider-Man. Woo, who remember that show? That show looked campy at first, but damn, that was one of my favorite ones. But anyway, let me get the hell up out of here. It's almost 30 minutes long. Said I was going to get off a minute ago, but last time I'm saying, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really am signing off this time. Thank you for all the uh, feedback and the support. I'm really being serious right now. I'm not being facetious. I really appreciate it. So I hope to bring out some more funny content. Uh, for the person who commented, they like to listen to me while jogging or walking. Hopefully this helped. I'm not really being funny. I'm just running my damn mouth. So until later, yeah.